ladies and gentlemen. It is a real honour and a pleasure to be here presenting this evening's ceremony. This is the fourth celebration of the Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists in the United Kingdom. We've recently seen the importance of science. And science, I believe, will also help us through other crises we can see coming. Now, none of this would be possible without the exceptionally generous support of the awards founder, Sir Leonard Blavatnik. And when the history of this century's pandemic is written, one of the salient points that I think will stand out is the extent of the international collaboration in the scientific community to create the vaccines and the treatments that are enabling us to resume travel and for us to be here tonight. So congratulations to our first finalist in physical sciences and engineering from the University of Manchester, Professor Artem Mishenko. <laughs> From the University of Southampton, Professor Themis Prodromakis. <laughs> Professor Sinead Farrington, University of Edinburgh. I'm interested in the Higgs boson shown in the middle of the screen. And in the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you the story of the Higgs boson and one jigsaw piece that I helped to put in place in the search for this elusive particle. Congratulations to our first finalist in chemistry from the University of Manchester, Professor David Mills. From University College London, Professor Matthew Powner. from the University of Manchester, Professor Danielle Leonori. I want to take these few seconds to really thank Sir Leonard, the Blavatnik Foundation, and the New York Academy of Science for this fantastic prize that really recognizes the hard work that all my PhD students and postdocs have done in the last six years at the University of Manchester working in the field of synthetic organic chemistry. So we send our congratulations to Professor Leonori in his absence. <laughs> Dr. John Marioni from the Bio European Bioinformatics Institute and the University of Cambridge. Please congratulate from the University of Exeter, Professor Ed Zuestra. Welcome to the stage for his laureate presentation, Professor Stephen Brusatti. My very favorite dinosaurs to study are the tyrannosaurs, some of which are new species that I've described and named, and I've spent a lot of time studying these guys. Dinosaurs lived so long ago. Occasionally, a fossil discovery might go viral online, but does it really affect us? And my answer is a resounding yes. Simply put, paleontologists are historians. We study prehistory for the same reasons that other scholars study history, to understand the past and to learn from it. Friends, colleagues, Here's to the exceptional 2021 Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists, finalists, laureates, and to science itself.